Save our clubs. Save our clubs. Save our clubs. Stop the cuts. Stop the cuts. Stop the cuts. And we're here in uh, Lewis today uh, with Embrace, a charity, because, uh, well, actually, well, I'll tell you what, let's have you, Becky, introduce yourself, introduce a charity, and tell, us, uh, tell everybody exactly why you're here in Lewis. I'm Rebecca Whippy, I'm CEO of Embrace and one of the founders of Save Our Services Eastbourne. We're here today because today's the decision to, to cut the funding to the after school clubs and holiday play schemes that um, children with disabilities use. Um, really, they've been propping up social care for years um, and now all of the parents are losing their jobs and losing their respite and the parents... It's, there's a very high risk that a lot of these children will now be put into foster care. These clubs are the glue that are holding the families together. So can you explain exactly what the clubs offer? So what they offer is teaching the children independent skills and also respite. So we're looking at a lot of children with behavioural problems that access these clubs to give their families a bit of respite time so that main carers can focus on their other children and do things like go out shopping or might go to work. Um, they're very specialist services, so they've got very highly trained people to deal with people with autism, um, specific complex needs. Um, a lot of them have epilepsy and medical and health needs as well. So they can't go to clubs or or guides or anywhere else they need to go to these clubs so these aren't just after school clubs that any child can go to these these are specialist type of clubs is that right yes they're highly specialist clubs um, the biggest problem we see is that the consultation has been predetermined the consultation period has actually ended two weeks ago but already jobs have been advertised for week and staff have been made redundant um, the parents are actually complaining to Bob Stanley who's who's the man who's going to be making the decision today but I've just had a look at a, a quality impact assessment that says that there are no complaints Complaints. So there are no complaints as far as the council concer is concerned. So what you're saying is that, it, that the council could just go ahead with these cuts to save how much? Do you know how much? Uh, I, I don't know how much, but I know that around 220 children are going to be affected um, and their families. And I know that the only person who's getting a vote today is Councillor Bob Stanley. Even his colleagues at County Council aren't allowed to vote on this. And the parents have been told that they aren't allowed to speak in the meeting. Why do you think, for instance, that, 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 that this is just wrong? What's your view? Do you have any sort of personal Im impact with this? Well, my granddaughter attends club two days a week right. and in the holidays... And it's been a lifesaver for my son, my son-in-law and daughter. Uh, my name's Claire Watts. I have a daughter who attends the after school clubs and the holiday play schemes. Um, we attend the clubs because it's been put in a social care plan. And we would like to know what is going to happen now. We've asked social services if these clubs go, what are they going to provide for my daughter? And they say they don't have the answers. Every now and again we need a little bit of a break. And she needs to be able to go out there and interact with her peers and with very specialist staff who know her needs very well indeed and have made her extremely happy and comfortable at this club. She can't just go into town with her friends, go to the cinema, girl guides. Our kids don't have much in their lives and now they're having this taken away from them. But I have grandchildren with special needs and I have a grown-up daughter that um, had you know, slight special needs as well but I actually wish that the people, the person making the decision would walk the life of our parents um, for just a week and that would open his eyes and he would see just how much these clubs are needed. Uh, my name is Will Callahan. I'm one of the founders of Save Our Services Eastbourne okay. and I guess I'm here, I don't, I'm not personally affected by today but I'm here as an ally. I've got two sons in Eastbourne schools. A lot of these folks turned out for my kids when all the cuts were proposed last year. It, it's the tip of the iceberg, isn't it? You know, we continue cut, cut, cut. And I think for me, it's about, you know, what sort of society do we want to live in? Um, you know, we should be an open, tolerant, caring, giving kind of society. And all these people here, you know, understand that. And we'd like the councillors to understand that. You know, this is, this is a vote against that. I'm Kelly Roberts, my son Lachlan goes to one of the specialised schools that are losing their funding and basically he's got complex needs, he has autism, anxiety issues, behavioural issues. As a family we are pushed to absolutely extreme every day and with the school funding being cut my my respite I suppose if you call it but also for him he needed that after school club to gain confidence in himself to move forward as a person that at home 
he can get a certain amount from us, but he needs to push out into the big wide world. And that's now been taken away. And with his anxiety issues, there's nowhere else that I can take him. He's not comfortable. These teachers were specialised. They had all the, the processes and systems in place to help him, and now it's gone. He needs to be able to learn social skills. He needs to be able to learn how to get on in the real world. And where else can I take him? He was in a school, or he is in the school still, but he was in a system that was allowing him to learn and be taught and gain confidence in those kind of skills that he needs to actually to get out and do. Things away from home, but also too, because us as a family, we are pushed. He has major behavioural issues. We struggle every day just to get from morning to night. Now, what are we supposed to do? Uh, my name's Chris Hartley. I'm a trustee for Embrace, and I'm here because I'm sick and tired of the Conservatives taking an axe to vital local services. We've had the libraries go, we've lost Ford House in Eastbourne, which was you know, doing some fantastic work helping local people across the county. And now, it's, you know, now the county council is now coming for children's services. They are coming for the most disadvantaged in our community and they're not willing to listen. They're willing to give one man who has no experience of the kind of things these families are going through, the kind of things these children are going through, they're giving him the you know the sole vote on something which seems it seems to be predetermined. Is there any other sort of um, provision that East Sussex County Council could provide, or do they, do they need to keep this funding going? Well, I, I think my concern is you know I'm as a former teacher, you know I, I've seen the, um, the 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 constant cuts coming more and more into the classroom, and what you find is that it, it is always the children who end up suffering the most. And as I said, I just don't think the county council are willing to listen. They are not, you know, the, the county are now seeing these children, these families, as just being numbers, you know, and they're not willing to take the steps necessary. They're not willing to go back to their colleagues in the national government and say, this is not acceptable. At the end of the day, we're here because we care about children, we care about these families, we care about where we're from. It's not just about Eastbourne, it's not just about Hastings, it's about East Sussex, it's about the UK. You know, it's about all of us coming together and saying, this is not acceptable anymore. I'm the lead member for uh, education and I send at the, at the County Council and this morning's meeting was a lead member meeting to discuss uh, after school clubs and holiday clubs. What the decision I made this morning was that the clubs would, would in the future be run by the schools rather than by the County Council. I'm very mindful that parents do value those clubs um, and therefore although the suggestion in the recommendation was that we would give some uh, transitional funding of 18 months. Uh, this morning I extended that to 24 months. I hope that the um, protesters and parents um, appreciate that this extra transitional funding will be helpful to make sure we get the right provision, say, which will be decided by the schools, not by the county council.